Hey guys, it's Jess Washington here with the Dallas Weekly, and I am here to do a roll call of our nominees for Best of Black Dallas. Now, I know that uh, we had a little test run, if you will, yesterday, but long story short, we had a couple technical technical difficulties, uh, wardrobe difficulties, all the difficulties, right? So we are put together and we are gonna do this roll call to let you guys know who are your favorites in our Best of Black Dallas uh, campaign? Um, if you don't know what the Best of Black Dallas is, it is a uh, campaign that we've started to really emphasize the importance of voting um, in this year's election. For anybody that watched uh, last night's uh, debates, I think you can understand the importance of us getting out and making sure that our voices are heard. So we just want everybody to get in the practice of celebrating Black excellence, because um, that's what we're really here about. We got a lot to grieve about. About, but we really have a lot to celebrate. So we thought, let's go ahead and celebrate each other, right? So uh, without further ado, we want to go ahead and get started with the nominees. Um, for anybody that has not nominated or don't know, um, as of today, today is the last day that you can get in your nominations. So if you are already nominated, go ahead and share your profile to everybody. You should be able to go to um, our website on dallasweekly.com, click on any Best of Black Dallas 2020 banner. Um, and when you get there, you'll see um, all the 40 plus categories are listed there. And if you don't see who um, you would like to be nominated, then now is your chance to do so. You can upload a photo, you can upload a video, you can upload a YouTube page, you can upload their contact information, um, any and everything you can to show people who your favorites are in the DFW. So let's go ahead and get started. Best of Black Dallas 2020. Again, nomination period starts from September 3rd, um, 1st through the 30th. Now, um, as of tomorrow, uh, nomination period will be closed and then we will start the voting phase on October 13th through October 30th. And if you don't know, that is married with also the Texas early uh, voting schedule. So uh, you can vote for your favorite barbecue during that time, and then you can turn around and make sure to go vote in this year's election as well. So food and dining. We're going to start with the best barbecue in Dallas. So as of today, for the, the nominees for the best barbecue in Dallas, we start with two partners um, off Robert B. Cullum down by Fair Park. We have Law and Smoke Catering Company. We have Smokey Joe's Barbecue. We have Off the Bone uh, Gourmet Barbecue, which is off Lamar. We have Smokey John's Barbecue and Home Cooking off Mockingbird Lane. And we have Elaine's Kitchen, uh, which is off Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Those are our nominees thus far for the best barbecue in Dallas. Now to the next category, which we have the best fried chicken. So, so far we have South Dallas Cafe. We have Rudy's Chicken off Lancaster Road. We have Savor It Southern Cuisine, uh, which is located in Plano. Henderson's Chicken off Miller Avenue in Fort Worth. There are a couple of Henderson's guys. Yeah, so that particular one off in Fort Worth is the one that they nominated. Hall's Chicken off Lancaster Road. We have Our Door to Yours, which is a catering service. And Sunday Morning Catfish and More off Pioneer Road in Mesquite, Texas. Blinn's Daiquiri Lounge. And finally, Bully's Fish and Wings Supreme, which is located in DeSoto. So those are our nominees for the best fried chicken for Best of Black Dallas. Now, on to fried fish. Our nominees thus far, ooh, quite a few. We have Honeycutt's Cafe, Top Cat Seafood Restaurant, Catfish Floyd's, Shell Shack off Henderson Avenue, and Aunt Irene's Kitchen again, Blend's Daiquiri Lounge. We have Bully's Fish and Wings Supreme. Again, that one is located in DeSoto. Thibodeau's Cajun Cooking, which is uh, located in Duncanville. And finally, we have Flavors Wings and Daiquiris. 
and Catfish. <laughs> Those are the nominees thus far for the best fried fish. Now, best tacos. Let us see. Our nominees thus far for the best tacos in the DFW. We have Tacos y Mas, uh, the one that's located off of Ross Avenue. We see Velvet Taco off McKinney Avenue. Uh, forgive me if I say this incorrectly. El Pasanio off Carroll Avenue. Fuzzy's Taco Shop, um, which is off Elm Street in Deep Ellum. We see Fuel City Tacos. And finally, Takiri, sorry, Takira LC High, which is located off Davis Street in Oak Cliff. Those are all of our nominees for the best tacos. Oh, I was told I said that incorrectly. Sorry, I'm from Philly, guys. <laughs> all right, so we have the best takeout restaurant. Our nominees for the best takeout restaurant in Dallas, we see Buzz Brews located in Deep Ellum off Commerce Street. Law and Smoke Catering Company, which was also nominated for Best Barbecue. Uh, we see The Island Spot, which is located off Jefferson Boulevard. It's So Vegan, Black Jack Pizza, right here off MLK Boulevard, Vegan Food House, and that is it. Those are nominees so far for the best takeout restaurant in the DFW. And our final category for food and dining would be uh, for vegan and um, vegetarian restaurant. Unfortunately, we don't have an image for that, but I will list the nominees. So the nominees for the best vegan or vegetarian restaurant for Best of Black Dallas is Recipe Oak Cliff, we have Vegan Food House, It's So Vegan, Bam's Vegan, Mana Juice Bar, and Fortitude Wellness Center, which they have like really cool looking smoothies. Uh, <laughs> Peace, Love, and Eats Smoothie Bar located in DeSoto, Texas. And finally, we have Blend's Daiquiri Lounge. So those are nominees for the best vegetarian or vegan restaurant in the DFW. So now on to local favorites, which is one of mine. This is where we cover pretty much everything that you guys are into, like uh, best radio station, uh, favorite broadcast journalist. Well, you're about to see, so let's go ahead and get into it, right? Um, so for local favorites, we have, for the best radio station, we have two uh, nominees, and those two nominees thus far are 97.9 to beat and K104. So get in your votes and let's see who wins. <laughs> uh, to get a little further, another category that we have is the best morning show. And currently we have uh, the morning hustle which is on uh, 97.9 The Beat. And then we have DD in the Morning, which of course is on K104. And our final nominee for the best morning show uh, would be Vila Kula, which is Vila Kula Radio, which you can listen to old school 80s, 90s gospel and a range of urban flavors from DFW's hottest indie station. So there you go. Those are our nominees for the best morning show for Best of Black Dallas. Um, favorite radio, lo uh, local radio personalities. Oh my God, I cannot talk today. All right, guys. So we have Capolian Wright um, for local radio personality. We have Dee Dee McGuire, also known for Dee Dee in the Morning. Um, DJ Easy Eddie D. We have DJ Jazzy from 97.9 to Beat. We have DJ Steve Nice, Headcrack. DJ Throwdown Sam, J. Cruz, also from 97.9 to Beat. Ooh. I, oh my gosh, how do you say that? I Liberate, I'm going to guess that's correct, but he's also a nominee for uh, Best Radio Personality. We have Marcus Stone, The Unapologetic Hustle, 
who's also a nominee for Best Radio Personality, uh, Little D, who's on 97.9 The Beat, and Vita Loca. These are our nominees thus far for Best Radio Personality in the Best of Black Dallas. And again, people, if you don't see somebody uh, that you feel like should be nominated, nominate them right now, go to the site. And as soon as you submit your nomination, uh, they will be, uh, you will receive a notification that says you can share it to all of your social media platforms. Um, and let's just be honest, guys, we all know you got multiple emails, so you can nominate multiple times. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Uh, next category, Best uh, Hip Hop Male Artist in the DFW. I was really, really excited about this, guys. I am a huge fan of local artistry of all forms. So I was really, really excited about this engagement. So let me just go ahead and get started because the list is long. So for best uh, Black hip hop artists, <laughs> male hip hop artists in the DFW, we're going to start with Andy J. The Motion. We have Alex Smalls, Brother Shout. That's how I say it. Uh, Bobby Sessions. Oh, I hope I say this right. Uh, I'm just going to say the, the initials HHP Baby G. I think that's the way he wants me to say it. Uh, we have DQ Hampton, Oak Cliff Boom, Concrete Slab, Saya, Original Soul, Ty Harris, Trap Boy Freddy, Witness JB, and Space Boy Fresh, Taz Green, Trey Ward, and last but not least, Yellow Beezy. So those are our nominees for the best male hip hop artists in the DFW. Now on to the ladies. So for the best female hip hop artist in the DFW, oh, give me one second. There we go. We have Erica Badu. Let's see. Asha Fire, Erica Banks, Flozilla, K Breezy the Great, Jilly Greater Than, Ooh, Queen D, Ruby Miller, Trimillion, Trill Taj, and last but not least, Valencia Snow. These lovely ladies are our nominees so for the best female hip hop artist in the DFW. Now on to best male jazz artist. Sorry guys, you stick it switched around one more time, but not as bad as yesterday. So <laughs> we have uh, nominees for the best male jazz artists are Don Diego, Lenny Nance, see Ruben Leo, Ricardo Rico Allen and Vandal Andrew. Oh, I'm sorry. And last but not least, Shelly Carroll. Uh, these gentlemen are our nominees for the best male jazz artist in the DFW. Now on to the best female jazz artist. Here we go. All right, nominees for the best female jazz artists are Angeli Anise, Jasmia Horn, Mahogany the Artist, singer Lady Diamond, and last but not least, the lovely Taylor Morgan. I'm a personal fan, just that's why I added that part. Uh, but yes, those ladies are our nominees thus far, thus far for the best female jazz artists uh, for Best of Black Dallas. Again, people, please, please, please go to dallasweekly.com. Uh, click on any of our banners that say Best of Black Dallas. They're all over the place. We have a huge tab sitting right next to our content section. So while you're looking at the news, go ahead and click on that tab for Best of Black Dallas. It will take you right to the voting link as well. Um, all of our social media profiles have our uh, link in the bio as well. So please go to the link, check out who the nominees are, vote for your favorites. And if you don't see your favorites, now is the final day to submit your favorites for the Best of Black Dallas. So let's go on to the next category, which is Best Broadcast Journalist. And the nominees are, 
We have Alana Bearfield. We have Candace Sweat. Desmond Fernandez. Capolian Wright. Joe Trahan. We have Evan Anderson. Christy Nelson. Tashara Parker. Keith Russell. Nui Scruggs, Vince Sims, and last but not least, Wayne Carter in the classroom. That's how he submitted it. It's adorable. Uh, yes, please uh, check out the nominees for best broadcast journalists. And if you don't see your favorite broadcast journalists, then nominate them today. Now, best community service organization. What community ser service organization it's doing big things in the DFW. This one warms my heart too, guys, because this is a very, very, very long list. Um, so again, if you don't see your favorite community ser service organization, uh, please be sure to submit them. But we have a lot to choose from. So let's get started. Um, community service organizations that are currently the nominees are um, AIDS Walk South Dallas Incorporated. Um, we have an organization um, acronym is COCO, which means Creators of Change, Outreach, and Ad Advocacy. We have City Men Cook, Chronic Endurance, the Dallas Black Chamber of Commerce, Four Oak Cliff, Fraser Revitalization. We have Fostering Dreams Foundation, Mothers Against Police Brutality, Impact Ventures, we have the nonprofit Need to Feed, we have New Era Dallas, another one is Networking Nights, Not My Son Dallas, Project Still I Rise, oh, I'm sorry, Project Still I Rise, I can read you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, we have the South Dallas Cultural Arts Center, Sassy's Sisterhood Social Club, Toast for Charity, we have the Lady General Foundation, and our final one would be Veteran Women's Enterprise Center. Uh, these are all of the nominees for the best community service organization. Um, in the DFW. So really uh, got a lot more um, within the last 24 hours. So I will definitely be checking some of these out. Sorry, it's personal. All right, on to the next one. Best theater company for Best of Black Dallas. Nominees are, we have Beckles Dance Dancing Company. We have Dallas Black Dance Theater, Soul Rep Theater Company, and finally, we have Metamorphosis, a new living theater. These four uh, nominees are, are, are on our, sorry, are our nominees for the best theater company for Best of Black Dallas. And next category is best local band. Current nominees are Alex Smalls. We have Bo Dave. Bree and the Fellas, Beyond All Limits, Colby Lewis, Celestial Clockwork, located right here in Deep Ellum, and Lenny Nance and Network, Natural Change, Original Soul, and we have Randy McGill and the Eclectic. See, Verb Culture's Revolution and Funk Project, The Found Band, and finally, Vince Sims. These are our nominees for the best band for Best of Black Dallas 2020. All right, guys, and we have one more category for local favorites, and that is the best youth program. So let's check it out. All right. Best Youth Program for Best of Black Dallas. The nominees currently are Dallas Casa. We have Big Thought. I'm sorry, Big Thought Program. Um, Project Still I Rise. 
New Nation Center, and Target Evolution. These are our nominees for the best youth program um, for Best of the Black Dallas. And that is all of our categories for within uh, local favorites. Now on to our group of faith or religion. So we have three categories for faith or religion. We have best preacher, best choir, and best house of worship. So let's see who we have first, which is the best preacher or pastor. Um, we have Bishop T.D. Jakes from the Potter's House, of course. Uh, we have Brian Carter. We have Chris Simmons from Cornerstone Baptist Church. We have Dr. Freddie Haynes, which we all know from uh, Friendship West. And we have Dr. Tony Evans. These are nominees for the best pastor or preacher uh, for Best of Black Dallas. We, oops, actually we don't have an image for this, but I will list the nominees for the category of uh, best choir. So our nominees for the best choir for Best of Black Dallas are uh, North Central Gospel Mass Choir, uh, GMWA Dallas Contemporary Adult Division Choir, and the last nom, oh, I'm sorry, two more. We have St. John Church Unleashed, that's their choir, and finally, Mount Rose Church Mass Choir. These are our nominees for the best choir uh, in Dallas for Best of Black. Oh, sorry, one more. Um, we have the best house of worship. And the nominees for the best house of worship are the Potter's House, Friendship West Baptist Church, Central Point Church of Christ, Antioch Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church, Mount Rose Church, Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, and finally Smith Chapel AM, AME Church. These are our nominees for the best house of worship for Best of Black Dallas. Again, if you don't see your best uh, place of worship, go to dallasweekly.com and check out the website, the link, and then you can submit your nominations there. Oh, I'm running through these guys. Health and fitness. So we have two categories for health and fitness, um, and we're gonna start with the best personal trainer in the DFW. I need to check these out personally. <laughs> um, so best personal trainer, uh, the nominees are Victoria Thomas of Journey Fit. We have Jacoby Veals. Let's see. Carnesia CC Curtis. I'm not even sure if I can say this, but she is a nominee. So her title is the Flat Booty Surgeon. Uh, we have Sarah Jane. We have Tony Davis, Joseph Brown, Chris Polk of Polk Fitness, Josh Hicks of the 300 Fitness, Alyssa Nichols, Coach Cola, Latasha Michelle, and last but not least, we have Tashelle Etheridge. These are our nominees for the best personal trainer for Best of Black Dallas. And our next category and final category for health and fitness would be Best Gym. And the nominees are Journey Fit. Oh gosh, I hope I can say this correctly. Unia Fit Studio, Polk Fit, Body District, located in Addison, Beat Bodies, and this probably should be in a personal trainer, but Diana Forsberg. These are our nominees for the best gym in Dallas. Medical services. We have three categories for medical services, and we will start for the best of, um, best physician and best of black. So let's start with Miss Erica Sales, or oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Erica Snails, uh, located in Mansfield, Texas. We have uh, Dr. Cynthia Robinson, who is a dermatologist. 
We have Dr. Olusanya. We have James L. Carlisle, or Dr. Carlisle. And finally, we have Dr. Tiffany Wudis. These are our nominees for the best physicians in Best of Black Dallas. Best dental practice nominees are, and I guess in turn, this best dental practice um, and dentist, one in the same. We have um, uh, Dr. Dornici Dornicia Carter. We have South Dallas Smiles located off Malcolm X Boulevard. Smiles of Irving with Dr. Kimberly Harper. Glitz Optical, probably not should be in there. Let me uh, go back, ignore that last one, sorry. And we have Dr. Carmen P. Smith of Smith Family Dentistry, also located in South Dallas. Uh, so these are our nominees thus far for the best dentistry or dental practice in Dallas. Uh, next category and final category for health and services is best counseling service. I feel like we should all be calling them right now. <laughs> uh, we have Rochelle Brown uh, and we have Blessed Being uh, with Dr. Rhea L. Hill. And we have Charter Medical Center um, again with Dr. Olu Sanya. Oh, I'm sorry, and almost this one. Last but not least, we have Butterfly Effect Counseling uh, located off 75 in Dallas. These are our nominees uh, for the best counseling services. On to beauty and barbershops. I think I might. So for the uh, categories, we have seven categories for best beauty and barbershops. So we're gonna start with natural hairstylists and we have Two nominees, I'm sorry, way more now. Okay, let's go through them. So best natural hairstylist for Best of Black Dallas. The nominees are Isis Brantley. We have uh, Lockstar, the natural hair salon. We have Clipped by KB, Divine Hands, Cess Cannon, and I'm sorry, Divine Hands Beauty Salon. That was the last one. Um, and um, Flourish Curl Salon with Sess Cannon and Nappy Bliss with Keisha Riggs and Hair by Shahana. These are our nominees for the best natural hairstylist for Best of Black Dallas. Uh, best Barbershop. Here we go. The nominees for the best barbershop is R. Uh, King of Cuts. We have Levels Barber and Beauty Lounge. Salon972.com. We have Experience Barber Lounge. Z Barber Salon, located in Cedar Hill. And finally, we have 602 Upscale Barbershop. These are our nominees for the best barbershop. For best of Black Dallas. I don't know why I keep doing that. Sorry, guys. Operator error. Okay. Next category would be best barber. And the nominees for the best barber. We have Fresh Fade G, <laughs> which I call him G, uh, Gerard Claiborne. We have Celebrity Nick the Chick. Ladarren Walker and David McKenzie. These are our nominees for Barbers of Best of Black Dallas. Next category is the best hairstylist. Our nominees are Miss Tiffany Dillard from Vanity Star Hair, Maisha Meeks. We have Dyson Styles, Nina Ray, the stylist. Hair by Shahana. And finally, we have Kendra Siobhan Beauty Solutions. These are our nominees for the best hairstylist for Best of Black Dallas. And 
I know you guys know some more hairstylists. So today is your final day to submit your nomination. So if you know of another barber, hairstylist, natural hair um, technician that can that you think is the best in black. So go ahead and please go to DallasWicked.com. Go to Best of Black Dallas, any of the banner links and submit your nominations now. Next category would be Best Nail Salon. And can I just say, guys, it warms my heart so much to see so many nominations for so many Black-owned businesses. Like, no matter what mainstream media says, we're doing it. So that's what this is all about, celebrating Black uh, excellence, taking time to get to know who your Black people are around you that are doing like services for each other. And then, of course, showing them love and practicing, uh, you know, using your voice to make things happen. So... That's what this is all about. Um, nominees for the best nail salons or best nail techs um, here in Dallas, starting with Sister Sister Nail Salon and Spa here in Deep Ellum. We have Tay Nailed It, Prima, the nail expert. And finally, we have True Nail Salon and Boutique. These four nominees are listed uh, for the best nail salon or best nail tech here um, in the DFW. Next category is best makeup artist. Ooh, a lot of them here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, the nominees for the best makeup artist um, in the DFW, we're gonna start with Chanel the Goddess, Jennifer Arlis, Fatima the MUA, we have Blended by Cassie, Nikki Reese of Allure Faces by Nikki. Angel Coleman of Angelic Artistry uh, Boutique. We have Erin Shu Neely. And we have Kendra Siobhan Beauty Solutions again. And finally, we have Tanya Barnes, MUA. These lovely ladies are our nominees for the best makeup artists. And for our last category for beauty and barbers would be uh, best tattoo artists. So uh, nominees for the best tattoo artists in DFW are Nichelle Elise, uh, Mac from Fly Ink Tattoo, and we have Crystals Tatted. These three people are nominees for the best tattoo artists for Best of Black Dallas. All right, next category or next group would be under automotive. And for automotive, we have four categories. So we're going to start with the best car dealer. Um, and so far, we have Iken Auto. So he's winning, guys. Uh, if you guys have any other black owned car dealerships, which I know you know of some, please go to DallasWiki.com. Go to the Best of Black Bannery, guys. How many times do I have to say it? Submit your nominations. Practice the right to vote. It's your right for now. So, <laughs> so next category would be Best Car Wash. Uh, nominees for the Best Car Wash for Best of Black Dallas are Dynasty Cleaning, Excellence Detail Car Wash, DJ's Mobile Detail, and we have New Creation Hand Car Wash, LLC. These are nominees for the best car wash for Best of Black Dallas. Next one would be Best Body Shop. And the nominees thus far is Plano of Lexus. That apparently is the absolute best black body shop in the Best of Black Dallas. So again, go ahead and submit your nominations today if you know of any more, because um, they are in the lead. And we finally have, we have one more category, don't have the image for it, but for best mechanic, uh, we have Lorenzo Hart of Auto House. So that is our nominees under automotive for best of Black Dallas. Um, so the next category that we have is shopping and retail. We have five categories so far for this, or we do have five categories for this. And we're gonna start with jeweler and jewelry store. So. Nominees for the best black jeweler or jewelry store for Best of Black Dallas are Punctuation Jewelry Boutique, 
We have DD Elite's Designs, uh, B Polish Beauty Supply. And finally, we have, oh, sorry, not finally. We have Kindu Marquette Williams of, of Art V Play. I'm sorry, Art for Play. I get it. And uh, <laughs> let's see. Tart Lane Designs, um, located in Allen, Texas. So those are our nominees for the best black jeweler and jewelry store for Best of Black Dallas. Let's see, next category. Uh, best Greek paraphernalia store. This is actually, I'm sorry, best Greek and HBCU um, paraphernalia store. We have, again, Glitz Optical and Rated HBCU. So those are our two nominees for the best HBCU or Greek paraphernalia store. The best CBD store in the DFW. Who are our nominees? We so far have two nominees for the best CBD store. Um, so the first nominee is the Weed Spot uh, located in Oak Cliff. And we have Royal Hemp Smoke and Cultural Spot, which is also located in Oak Cliff. So, um, if you know of any other CB, black owned CBD stores that you would like to submit that nomination, you have until midnight tonight to do so. All right, and next category is best neighborhood store. Uh, we have Walgreens, uh, specifically the one that's located off MLK right in front of Fair Park. I know that one actually. So uh, that Walgreens is located as one of the best uh, black neighborhood stores. Uh, we have Kitty Care Beauty. Um, I hope I pronounced this right. A Mecca Beauty Supply. We have Bee Polish Beauty Supply. And finally, we have the Pan African Connection Bookstore, Art Gallery, and Resource Center. These are your nominees for the best neighborhood store for Best of Black Dallas. And our final category for shopping and retail would be for best designer. Uh, so the best black designers, and this is designers of all forms, interior designers, uh, if you are a, um, oh my God, a stylist, a graphic designer, whatever, we, we take them all. So a designer of any form, these are our nominees for the best uh, designers for Best of Black Dallas. We have um, designer Ali, and she goes by Ali. Uh, we have... Shonda Key of Kia Interiors, interior designer. Daniel Mofor, who's a suit designer. Shalita Lanise, who's a dress designer, sorry. Uh, Didi Bates, who also does custom uh, jewelry and accessories. And Kim Olusanya. Essay, oh my God. Essay as a neighbor, famous bridal, uh, uh, famous. Well, she's a very big, well known uh, dress designer here in Dallas. Oh, Vinny Atin, who uh, actually recently his designs were seen in Beyonce's Black is King. You can check out some of his work there. And last but not least, we have Tiff DeZeta, who is a, a stylist of the stars. And she actually was, um, has been on our cover twice. So very well-known designers here in Dallas. Does that, Dallas does it big when it comes to fashion or any type of design. So I wasn't shocked at all to see these names flood in. Um, so these are your nominees for the best black designers in the DFW. Um, if you have not voted for them yet, go vote for them. And if you don't see your favorite designers, submit them today. All right. So that is it for our shopping in retail. Uh, the next category, and we're getting near the end, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> we do have 40 categories because there's a lot to celebrate when it comes to black excellence. Okay. All right. So we have the best uh, daycare. Nominees for the best daycare are Greater Mount Moriah Baptist Church, uh, located in Fort Worth. And the final nominee for the best daycare would be Beautiful Beginners Christian Academy, located here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, so these are your two nominees for the best 
Black Daycare for Best of Black Dallas. Uh, next category would be Best Moving Company. All right, uh, we're gonna start with Level Up Movers. Next nominee would be A-List Movers. Uh, we also have VIG Moving and Logistics. We have Veterans Are Moving. And our final nominee for uh, Best Moving Company would be Mobile Men, are, Mobile Men Moving. Uh, these are your nominees for the best black moving company in the DFW. Uh, next category is uh, best realtor or real estate agent. So we're going to start with Brittany McCoy. Uh, next uh, nominee would be Concetta Harris. Next nominee would be Scotty Smith the second. Then we have Julian Williams of JW Realty Partners. And our final nominee for the best uh, realtor or real estate agent in the DFW would be Stephen Lewis. These are your nominees for best of Black Dallas for best realtor. All right, next category would be best funeral home. All right, so nominees for the best funeral home are Black and Clark Funeral Home, uh, located here in Dallas, off Illinois. We have Evergreen Memorial Funeral Home, off University Hills, here in Dallas. Mansfield Funeral Home and Cremations, in Mansfield, that's located in Mansfield, Texas. We have Golden Gate Funeral Home. And finally, we have McDowell Family, Family Funeral Home, uh, also located here in Dallas, Texas. So those are our nominees for the best funeral home. Next category is best public relations firm, also known as PR. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Anyways, um, okay, so <laughs> we are nominees for the best public relations firm in Dallas is uh, our Tiffany Dale Agency. We have Janeiro PR. We have JTBE. That's a yeah, JTBE Inc. And finally, we have 1016 Media, uh, Terry Allen PR. These four people are four companies are nominees for the best black uh, public relations firm in the DFW. Next category is best law firm. Nominees for the best black law firm in DFW are BLW Legal Group, Gotsi Martin PC, Redmond and Eland PLLC, and the law office of LD Thomas PLLC. These are four nominees for the best black law firm in DFW. Next category. Best Event Planner. Nominees for the Best Event Planner um, are the Brand Enhancer, A Touch of Jewel Events and Designs, Beyond Posh Events, and our final nominee for the Best Event Planner is Just Elope. So these are our nominees for Best Event Planner and Best of Black Dallas. Go vote. All right. I feel like we have one more category. Nope, oh, that's it. Sorry, guys. I get a little distracted. All right. And our final group would be public services. We have three categories for public services. So let's get started. Uh, we have best elected official. And the nominees thus far for best elected official are Judge Eric Moyer. We have Petonia forgive me if I say this wrong, Rule. Uh, we have John Wally Price. And we have Judge Shaquita Kelly. We have Judge Angela King. Mayor Curtisine Smith McCowan. Mayor Eric Johnson. And those are our nominees for the best elected official for Best of Black Dallas 
and our other category is best city council member. So nominees are for best city council member, Adam Basil Dua. We have Casey Thomas. Uh, out of DeSoto, we have Kenzie Moore III. And back to Dallas, we have Tanel Atkins. These are our nominees for best city council member. And our final, and maybe probably, no, not maybe, most important in my opinion, because especially what's going on right now, uh, category. We actually added this as a last minute category, but we thought it was really, really important to show love to this particular group of people. So yes, best educator or teacher. Um, so the nominees for the best educator or teacher are uh, Francis Lisangi. We have Jamal Walker out of DeSoto. We have Jasmine Barnes, Jennifer Jenkins, we have Melissa Nicole, Nicolette Jones, Rachel Wade, Joy Bowers, N Michelle Zada Hall. We have Robert Edison, Pharaoh Francis Hogan, Farah Francis Hogan, apologies. And our final nominee for the best educator for Best of Black Dallas is Reggie Calhoun Jr. These are our nominees thus far for the Best of Black Dallas as far as um, educators. So that's all of our nominees, guys. I can't believe we did it, but we did it. I did it. Finally got here. So <laughs> again, um, please go to DallasBlueZee.com, uh, submit your nominations. If you don't see um, who you want nominated, if you do see who you want nominated, then be sure to go and vote for them. Practice the vote. That's what this is all, all about. Um, we do have also um, very good resources for you. If you go to Dallas Weekly and go to the link for Best of Black Dallas, uh, we have information about uh, polling uh polling stations. We have early registration, any kind of registration information you need, um, that's there as well. Um, so please be sure to go to DallasWeekly.com for pretty much everything that you need. Uh, but for Best of Black, uh, please submit your nominations. You have until midnight tonight. So thank you for your support. Thank you for following the Dallas Weekly. Thank you for supporting Black Excellence. And let's get this vote in. So we will see you around. Bye, guys.